Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is of course Susan Tando, but you can call me Tando. I am back, baby, with another video today. So sit down, let's talk, let's have a conversation together. But before I get into this video, please do not forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment down below. There's a bell. You can just click on that bell, which will notify you every time I post a fucking banger. Hey guys, today I am back with the story time, but I'm also with a bang, my bag oh guys but i also have these babies like i love this child those cute children i love them so since i told you guys that i haven't seen anyone on youtube eating street food i'm like you know what i'm gonna be the first youtuber in south africa a queer youtuber that goes and explore street food and explore the things that the people on the YouTube don't do because the YouTube's humans are very perfect and they're very rich and this small cost me about um, 30 or less than that this was seven run this was seven run this was seven run less than 30 so Lulusu just cause I have Acha and which you guys call it the bread so um I'll be having this I got I put this in spado while I'm talking to you guys I'll be having this amazing food that I hope I'm happy to eat and we're also having a beer but it's not alcohol because the bitch is going to work I'm not a beer person though but we're trying new things we're trying new things honey Anyway, let me get to the video because I've been talking in a bit. It's two minutes and I've been blabbing at always. Mm. Mm. I don't know how YouTubers do this, but yeah, new. I'm like I'm having my my favorite things in the whole world. Totokoi is my fave. Yeah, is my fave. Ulusu is my fave. So, how the fuck am I gonna talk? Someone make me understand. It happened in 20, 2010. Yes. Yeah, 2010. So, 209 my mother passed away so nine my mother passed away and then um after my mom and my dear when my grandmother said um we are too much she can't handle the patient all of that if and if we are full now i can go to my aunt in Cape Town, and my aunt was ready to welcome my ass the woman's hand fine 29 December after exams I went to Cape Town but luckily that year my childhood friends didn't go home for the holidays or Pamela Noviera so they spent the whole day in Cape Town. 16 hours bored. I was with my aunt, my little sister, which and some, my niece, and yeah, it was boring. And the magazine, I'm going to eat fish and I'm going to eat my hakum. She needs to do rose, so I couldn't also, I also couldn't disrespect her in her own home. So, I'm chuckling now. I can't be all over the place. Fine. Mm, guys, ah, why do I have to do this video while I'm eating this food? Mm. Mm. So, yeah, I couldn't like be all over the place, gather and look for friends, make friends because I'm doing Italian now, and then my aunt is very strict towards other people's kids, not to her kids, but I'm collab. So, I was busy on, in communication with my childhood friends 
I'll drink this any day. Mmm. I send it zero. Excuse me. I didn't want this video to be long, but the food and this. Anyway, so um I'm like, oh guys in Boreki, like what's in what's in what's in what's in what's in but okay fine, I'm gonna see what we do, right? I told my aunt because like no Pamela, no Pamela like it's in Cape Sepek or Kwabu like Epic was a Kai. Pumeling in a Glopamela. That's how close Glopamela is. And then Uvia Uviela is excuse me, Pamela's cousin. And they both my friends, they both my childhood friends. So I'm like, okay, dude. I told my aunt, Uguti, okay, fine, Pamela, Bala, Pava, Kulti, I'm like, okay, fine, I'm going to go to the um, When they're available, I'm like, okay, I don't know, but I'm going to ask them. So I asked Pamela, Uguti, okay, my aunt was saying, fine, you guys can come fetch me at Pamela shop. Pamela told her mom, so her mom drive over to come fetch me. That was the 23 of December. Yeah. 23 of December. So I spent the 25th with um, them and then things were fine. We were drinking as usual. And then, yeah, the yeah, 31st got December. That's when I met this person. Mind you, at this time, when I got to Cape Town, I told myself, Guti, I'm done with women. I'm not going to date women. Like, I'm not going to be, I don't want this gay thing. People don't understand. It, it first starts with you as a person before. You you, you 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 come out or you live your life in the open I start with you it start it's the, it haunts you first because I knew for the longest time that I was gay but I was very denial I hated the fact that I was gay but right now I embrace it right now I love it right now I accepted it but I hated the fact that I was gay and I, I didn't understand why I was feeling this way about females and I didn't understand how the fuck did all happen like I, I didn't understand it and I felt like I was some kind of a disease or something I don't know whether it's YouTube that is making a beer taste as good but this beer tastes good anyway so I I told myself when I got you that I'm gonna look for a man and I'm, I'm gonna have a boyfriend I'm gonna fall in love with a boyfriend and all of those good stuff sharp sharp 31st of December Pamela's mom have a house go R and then the family home is go you got X. So on between those trips that we are taking up and down because the whole family to make up Pamela, which I'm close to everyone, was was they. Yeah, well, I know everyone. Everyone knows me. So they they okay, they were all there. So Miss Tunya up and up higher and Pamela can't drive, so we couldn't drive her mom's car. And that time we we're still teenagers, so yeah. So okay, it's a busy, it's a busy, it's a busy, it's a busy. On our way, she did my hair and I had like bob, blonde bob braids. On our way, from, okay, back, okay, from our ex, I mean, from our ex, see, I go, ar. see this guy, ooh, this guy spoke to me. This guy was hot as fuck. Literally, like, he was hot as fuck. I was sold. I was sold, if you know what I mean. Fine, this guy took my number. So I'm gonna call my nanny. Okay, fine. I'm Shia. So I'm gonna say, "Boy, let go." I'm gonna call my nanny. I'm so glad you're on the set. That's okay. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Okay, my boyfriend calls me. I, I know it's too early, but he's already my boyfriend. Hmm. My boyfriend calls me. I'm gonna let go. Okay, I see. My mela. Um, new pits. Okay, fine. See, see around. Go ahead. See, see a pitzella. But please come through like I said hi I'm like okay sharp because I met him okay sharp we talk we kissed like we had a good time but now he had to drive his dad to somewhere I will before 12 I don't remember and then he leaves and then I went back home Salala Kwam Nandi Kwam Jojo um first I learned that I was fucking babalas yeah and then I went home and then I went back home oh before I went home because I think I stayed there until the seventh so before I went back home like Mr. Busy check her now at T5 let's meet us dish in because like what eggs no are but who is this dish 
So sko ari and man in ko ex at okay, let's meet us to shine. So it's like small colors, small colors. Like I I would see this person literally every freaking day. Like every day, every day. This this person is a guy. This person is a man. Like we'll, we'll be so close, like and so intimate, but we can't like do a lot because it's just like we you know obviously. But yeah, we like we'll be so close and so freaking intimate. This person was a fraud star. <laughs> if you're watching this video, you little piece of shit. You're a fraud star. I love her. I love her him. <laughs> so fine. Like like yo, dude, guy. We we were so close with this guy. Like okay, I got my match. I got my soulmate. I got my love. I got my lover. Fine. I can be called dumb. Just one thing. So so three. So chola go ex. Myself, Pamela, obviously. So we're going to vacation our people. But now, firstly, we went to see Abandoned Pamela because we were living on the other side. And then on our way back home, that's where I meet the person that I was dating. So I'm like, okay, shut. And then I call the person, I'm like, I'm, I'm outside. He comes. And then. Fine. So I must be getting lean. Hey, what this was? This was the part that killed my ass. I must be getting lean. I told Pamela, no visa, no viera. Um, told me we wanna tell you something. At this time, get cause like they're panicking, moving in and out. Like a punch, my pocket, my umbrella, my umbrella. I'm like, guys, what's going on? Like, what is happening? No, um, we, we, we want to tell you something. I'm like, okay, Buanche, Kulumani, Teta Pamela, Teta Vielo. I'm like, it's hey, so, um, Is my person cheating? What, what's happening? Oh, is my person, does my person have a person? What is going on? Maybe you guys want to tell me something about the person that I'm dating, but just, just speak. Hmm. But, um, mm. Why did I say the word? Lomduako in Dombi. No, the person you are dating is a woman. I'm like, oh, which person? My my boyfriend. Mm. Like uh, their voices are so low. I'm not by I don't know what the fuck is happening. I'm like, you you mean the my boyfriend? But yeah, your boyfriend is actually a girlfriend. My, my my answer was okay. Gun and Pumel. I started crying. I don't know why I was crying. Oh, I know why I was crying. I was crying because even after I heard that I was still in love with this person. I know I was young. I probably didn't know anything about love. I knew a lot about love. I still know a lot about love. Anyway. I, I was crying because I still love this person and I feel like I was betrayed. How dare he? How dare? I'm like, okay, fine. I cried, I cried, and then I clicked myself. And I'm phoning. Like, um, dude, I want to ask you something, but I have to send you a text. Len Jagazi, I'll be calling you, so I'd okay. Kim then go go send her a text to tell her who's our yet on the night. And when I get that, that text was the killer text I ever sent anyone. Okay, I'm hungry. Let me go back to my eating. My girl switch off her phone and continue with life like nothing happened. So we're driving to the beach, I think, with her dad. Hmm. I was trans. I was crying. I was confused. And also the fact that I told myself that I'm leaving this, this, I'm done with this gayness life. I don't want it. Um, and then the next thing, I'm in a relationship with a, with a woman without even knowing that this person is a woman. 
fine. Bang am phone ela, phone I put me the valley one, which also drive me nuts. And then the following day, only the following day, she texts me like, Mamela, can I see you? I'm like, okay, shut up. And then she comes through with me. Excuse me. We meet halfway as usual. Excuse me. Oh, beer yeah, guys. We meet halfway as usual, and then um, she was like, "But I thought you knew. We're so intimate. Like we talk about. Like we talk like very closely. I have boobs, and I I thought you saw it, and I thought you knew. I'm like, like no, I didn't know you were perfect. <laughs> It's okay, you're gonna be okay. Why are you crying? Because I don't wanna be gay! I don't wanna I don't wanna do this for my two men thing, but I love you, I don't know how to stop loving you. <laughs> yeah, I'm exaggerating it. But I was crying, I was expressing how I was feeling, and I was expressing why okay, I'm I'm, I'm very expressive. Is that, is that even a word? I, I always make sure that I express how I felt. And I always make sure that the next person understands. Yeah, well, so yeah, I did talk about that. Mamela, I'm, I'm not gay. I don't want to be gay. But it happened that I fell in love with you, not knowing you were a woman. Because I honestly thought that you were a guy. I was happy I have a man in my life. I even called my grandmother and told my grandmother, I have a boyfriend. Like, oh, okay, I'm happy for you. And then like a couple of my boyfriend is no longer a boyfriend, she's a girlfriend. I called my grandmother crying. Dude, it's no longer a boyfriend, it's a girlfriend. Like, what do you mean? I explained to her, like, okay, then what are you gonna do? I'm like, I love her, I wanna be with her. Like, okay, fine, continue being with her if you want to. So it was like very, very, very weird and amazing experience at the same time because it made th that actually experience, like, that, that experience on its own made me realize that I, I didn't make myself gay. And I can't run away from being gay. I needed that, like, to 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 accept myself, and I needed that to actually believe that I'm gay, and to actually live my honest truth. Because I, when I got to Cape Town, I told myself that I'm gonna have a boyfriend, I'm gonna have a man, I'm gonna date a guy and be happy, right? And I got myself that guy. That guy was everything. But it turned out that guy was not a guy. It was a girl. So what does that mean? Baby girl, you are fucking queer. You queer as if. And you can't run away from it. Right? So yeah, I, I that 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 G made me believe Okay, I am I am who I am. I am what I am. And it's okay, boo boo. But my ex girlfriend is married now. Oh my god. We're still friends. I love her so much. I love her wife. They they married last year. They're perfect together. But I can't tell you her name. Because I'm going to talk. But again, I'm going to talk. Anyway, thank you so much guys for watching this video. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, share and comment down below. Guys, have you ever had this experience in your life? Me, me, I'm the god of the earth. <laughs>